Apple's new M2 MacBook Air is looking incredible, and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today, we've got plenty of news to share about the upcoming refresh of Apple's MacBook Air, including its specs and design. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Apple, and let me know in the comments what country you're watching today's video from, and if you haven't already, then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So the MacBook Air is very popular for those of you that don't need the power of the Pro or don't want to spend the extra money, and with the switch to Apple's own chipset, the MacBook Air is now even better than before. When it comes to the design of the new MacBook Air, according to John Prosser, it's not going to be tapered and it's going to be much thinner overall, and it's only just going to fit in the USB Type-C ports. John Prosser advises that the new MacBook Air is going to have white bezels around the display and a white magic keyboard with full-size function keys, and thanks to the large larger keys, the trackpad has now had to be reduced in size. Mark Gurman has also advised that Apple is reducing the bezels around the display, and this is going to provide a 13.3 inch display with a smaller overall footprint, so it's retaining the same size display but with a full size keyboard. When it comes to the underneath of the MacBook Air, we're also losing the four rubber feet we had before, and it's instead going to be replaced with two long vertical strips on the bottom. When it comes to colors, John Prosser advises that they'll be going very similar to the new iMacs and producing the MacBook Air in all of the same colors, or at least very very close, and we'll be seeing the MagSafe charger make a return to the MacBook Air. According to reliable analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, the new MacBook Air is also going to feature a 13.3-inch mini-LED display. This brings significant improvements in display quality, and it allows for not only a much thinner display, but one with higher contrast and more dynamic range. It's important to note, however, that it's still an LC display, and it's not OLED technology. When it comes to the chipset powering the device, it's believed that the new MacBook Air is going to harness Apple's new chipset. Mark Gurman stated that the new chipset is going to be an improved version of the current M1 chip, while it's going to feature the same amount of high-performance cores, it will have improved graphics. According to Mark Gurman, the new chip has been codenamed Staten, and it's going to have the same number of cores as the M1, but it will run faster, so we can assume higher clock speeds. Mark Gurman also advises that the number of graphics cores is increasing from the previous 7 to 8, 9, or even 10 cores. He also states with the new MacBook Pros, the lower end model is also going to be using the same chip. We also have a new tweet from Dylan on Twitter, and he claims that the MacBook Air is going to be powered by Apple's M2 chipset, while the MacBook Pros are going to be using the M1X. So this is kind of confusing, but the thoughts here are that there could be a new M1X as the premium upgrade to the M1, and that's going to come out later this year. Then at the start of next year, we'll see the M2, and this is more powerful than the M1, but not as powerful as the M1X. And then we'll have the M2X, which is going to be the Pro successor at the end of next year. Of course, this is is just leaks and it seems a little bit confusing when Apple tend to keep things simple, so we'll have to wait and see on the naming and see if this is correct. I'm not too familiar with Dylan, but he has correctly predicted some product launches in the past, so take with a grain of salt for now, but it could well be the case. When it comes to the release date, there are still many sources claiming that we could see the new MacBook Air in the second half of this year, but that's not likely to be the case. Most sources believe we'll see the refresh of the MacBook Air at the start of 2022, and it does seem the most likely. While well, we've got no details on exact dates, it's likely to be around March, considering the previous release was November. So for those of you excited for the new MacBook Air, we're now going to run through the specs, design, and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if this could be the MacBook for you. So with the new MacBook Air, we get a 13.3-inch mini-LED 120Hz display with a native resolution of around 2560 by 1600 We should see a similar PPI, so that's 227 pixels per inch, and it will keep the True Tone technology. We're expecting another single camera above the display, and this is likely going to be a 720p FaceTime camera, and it's also going to have a Touch ID sensor on the keyboard. It's going to be powered by the upgraded Apple chip, which is going to be called either the M2 or the M1X, but as I said, we will update on that soon. And we get a choice from 8 to 16 gigs of configurable RAM, and a choice from 256 to 2 terabytes of storage. Given that it's a similar size to the previous models, we're expecting a 50 watt hour battery, and thanks to Apple's optimizations, it's going to provide around 18 hours of battery life. 
It's going to come with USB-C, Thunderbolt, utilize Wi-Fi 6 and have Bluetooth 5. It's going to come in a wide range of colors similar to the iMac. We're expecting prices to be similar to the previous versions, meaning for 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs storage, we can expect it to start from around $999. But overall, the new MacBook Air is looking incredible. It's going to be more powerful than the predecessor and also come with a better design and multiple different colors. For those of you that don't need the MacBook Pro but do still want a MacBook, it's got a valued space in the market and it's no doubt going to be popular. With launch expected to be in the first half of 2022, it's not long until we're going to see the MacBook Air from Apple, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. So who out there is excited for the new MacBook Air and who is planning on purchasing one? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.